Hi, I'm Suzanne. And I'm Michelle. We are Jamaican sisters, business partners, foodies, and well-known lovers of Caribbean culture. And we want you to journey with us to meet some of our friends, old and new, as we drop in on them for some island potluck. Get to know all the quirky and creative characters we meet and share in some good food, drink, conversation, laughter, and all-round Wicked Island vibes. Make no mistake, this is the real deal. Showing you what it is to live, work, and play in what is home for us. Oh my gosh, I love coming here. It's beautiful. It's so nice. I wonder what we are going to get and see. Hi, Hi David. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good, good to, to see, see you. you. Nice to be here. Wonder. Let's Whoa. go see what goodies you have. I want some mugs. So this is so fascinating to get to see you molding um, pieces. So what are you doing now? Just changing the, the detail of the shape. Mm -hmm. When they came off the wheel, um, the wheel makes things round, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and what's exciting for me is transforming that shape. Yes. Right. So uh, a shape that I've worked with a lot is a triangular bowl. Mm -hmm. Right. And okay. So they're, they're made round, mm -hmm. which I, I did on the wheel. They're trim, trim the edges, mm -hmm. get a triangular. And the bottoms are trim as well. Just so, is it very shape. intuitive for you in terms of this, how you do the shapes that you work with and what feels sort of right? Or you are very, you know, you have a very conscious idea of the kind of shapes you like or want to have. Um, I think both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know the shapes that I like, and mm -hmm. I'm very intuitive. Yes. So, from you first formed the shape to when you're able to work with it like this, how long does that take for it to dry about? It's been a couple hours. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I mean, it depends on the day. On the environment, rain, you know, all of that stuff. Exactly. Yeah. High humidity, and they'll sit wet for. Of course, forever. Days. And, and so, do you paint again. them, or you, what, or the glaze is just a color, a, a wash with paint, uh, with a color on it? Um, glaze. It's more science than paint. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's more like chemistry class. So you have <laughs> buckets of Which stuff. Which I failed. She failed chemistry, failed chemistry class. Royally, so, okay. by the way. And I didn't take it, so we can. <laughs> 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 Buckets of stuff that melt into glass, basically. And then to that, small quantities of things that change the texture and color are added. Yes, beautiful. So each piece is a labor of love and a work of art in its own way, which is yeah. absolutely... And each piece tells their own story. Yeah. So this is basically like your retail showroom. Yes. 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 And it's a lovely, lovely space. And lots of stuff downstairs as well. Like I would like pieces. to get some of these mugs. We want to buy some mugs though. We can't right. leave and not go back to Kingston without some lovely mugs. And I love the blue. I like the blue with the white. Oh, so you know we're taking mind. these with us. Can, Can we? we take them now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you? He's like, yes, you sure can. <laughs> Let's go downstairs, because we had some nice stuff down there too. I love David's mugs. I'm always, just one, I have one mug of yours at my mother's house and I fight for it every morning. <laughs> yeah, because she won't drink coffee out of, out of I won't drink out of anything else. else. I just have this one. So, how did you start? <laughs> uh, high school. Uh, everyone had to do extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. And pottery was one of the options. I went in and made ugly pots like everybody else. And I kept going back. What has been your inspiration, you know, in terms of what you see around you and life here in, in the island? Um, different pieces, different inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, there was a series I did uh, where I found this incredible stone on those dry, stone walls mm -hmm, surrounding mm -hmm, the property. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I brought it to studio and put it down and I had a whole series of things based on that. Um, the most recent uh, exhibition mm -hmm. was much more sensual, mm -hmm. uh, much more feminine, mm -hmm. uh, fertility, fertility pods. Mm -hmm. um, and that started just driving down my little driveway right here and bucking up a seed pot on the road, stopping, picking it up, looking mm -hmm. at it, this incredibly beautiful thing mm -hmm. just bursting open with life. What has good, good hope in being here? How has that contributed to your work? Because it's a beautiful place. Um, I think it has just in being in the country. I mean, yeah. that's where I came across the stones that yes. I picked yeah, up sure. and the seed pods and yes. the bamboo and all of this stuff that's inspirational. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, not so much the plantation slave history no. part yes. of things yes. for me. But what yes. you're supposed to make us this awesome, famous rum punch. I've had it. <laughs> that we're dying it. to taste. It was delicious. So please go I won't ahead talk and show about us. the secret ingredients because I don't know them. But we'll try to we'll try to sneak well, them out of here. One secret ingredient is just having bottles of stuff sitting mm -hmm. around fermenting. Nice. Not fermenting, but uh, that's a bottle of pimento with rum. 
Nice. So, um, I like that. That's one bit of flavoring. Mm. Uh, and then what I did today was bring the, the pre-mixed version. So that's the, that's the concentrate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah. has scotch bonnet pepper. Mm -hmm. It has pimento. It has all sorts. How do you get the scotch bonnet into the rum? Into the rum. Mm. Slice off pieces, put it in the rum bottle, shake it up. So, okay, so you seep it a bit. That's great. A bit. If you yes, seep it too long, long, it gets it a little is, too spicy. Yeah. Ooh. All of these hidden goodies. <gasps> these oh. are wow. Wow. coconut balls. Oh, wow. All local ingredients. Oh, oh they look yum. yummy. Are we allowed to taste? Please. Whoa. Please. You need something to eat if you're going to be drinking rum punch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is, wow, look how, I love the color of the inside of that. Pretty. And they're so Look juicy. at the amount of juice. Ooh. So is that the unique fruit that you're... And that's, this is it. So it doesn't normally juice very well because it doesn't keep, you say. It juices beautifully and the right. juice is really delicious. Right. Um, but so it, it doesn't keep. You need to drink it immediately. So it yeah. spoils? I think it separates. Ah. Mm -hmm. I think. Ooh. Ah, hold on. Pretty, huh? So we've got two cups of juice. You see, now this is what you call life. Mm -hmm. you pick that from the, the, the tree outside. <laughs> <laughs> Pop your bottle from the fridge. Mm -hmm. Freezer. Open bottles or Even freezer. Mm. Gorgeous. Mm. You serve this at all your show when you have shows or when you have yeah, open houses? Because we've heard about it. We're like, oh my God, David makes yeah. this incredible rum punch. Yeah, no, mm. Yes, Mish. Cheers. Wait, wait, I need more. Yes, oh, come yeah, on, David. More, David. Yes, Cheers. thanks for having us Thank to that you. delicious rum punch. Delicious. Awesome. Yum. Yum. Truly. It's really spectacular. Really I mean, unique. Honestly, as gorgeous as the as the things we're drinking from.